Hello, hello, my friend. How are you today? Hope that you're doing well this uh, Friday. Happy start of your weekend. Uh, this is not the first time that this uh, plugin is available for free. Many of you probably know that, but I thought I wanted to give you the heads up on this uh, cool compressor uh, for uh, different uses, right? Uh, the H compressor hybrid compressor by waves audio it's available for free for approximately 40 hours 39 40 hours till this video is being uh, recorded right so uh, in this video i want to show you some ex different examples than the ones that i uh, have used in the past and of course uh, talk a little bit about the features and the controls in case that you don't know it uh, but probably some of you guys might have this plugin already uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the video description and first comment in case that you want to check it out. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna put timestamps as well in this video's description, right? Uh, before we begin with the content, let me invite you quickly to my website, amnohunted.com, where I have some additional freebies for you, such as some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players, also some free tools, such as some collections of guitar impulses, some collections of drum sample packs, among other utilities, and finally, don't forget to check out uh, this channel or my blog, which I am updating almost every day with tons of content like this. Alcoustic is here on the live stream. Hello, Alcoustic. How are you today? Happy Friday. Or maybe if you, I think uh, if you are overseas, well, happy Saturday now. Uh, beginning of the Saturday, I, I believe, right? Uh, I, I believe you guys are like um, eight hours from here. Uh, apart so yeah let's 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 move on here um uh, let me switch the screen here okay so this is the h compressor right uh it has some analog characteristics and features it has this uh, knob uh with four different uh algorithms it, it supposedly adds some uh Transformer uh, coloration and uh, tube coloration as well, depending on the different transformer or algorithm that you choose. You can also turn it off for a more transparent type of compression. Of course, you have the uh, main knob here, the threshold control. The more you increase this, the more compression you get, right? Uh, of course, this is linked to the ratio that it's here, okay, from one millisecond, uh, from one to one. 250 uh, to 1 which is like uh, almost to the point of limiting right but uh, yeah 3 to 4 is the one that I use the most uh, for normal compression on different uh, instruments right and then you have an attack and release okay so it's fast attack to and fast release to the left like that okay in milliseconds and um, slow attack and slow release to the right just like that right there is also a punch knob the more you increase this of course the name says it all but this preserves the transient information the impact a bit more even though uh, you are compressing heavily right Th this helps you preserve the the punch the uh, the transient information a bit more okay and uh, yeah you have a mix knob from 0 to 100 percent dry and wet uh, of course, you have an output here to compensate or to gain match. Also, uh, one cool thing is that the release time can be set to BPM uh, following your host, uh, your DAW's tempo. Okay, and uh, that's pretty cool because when the release is um, in time with the tempo of the track, it's going to be very musical. Uh, the way the needle comes back to zero and is jumping again and uh, coming back uh, so yeah uh, you can set it to milliseconds to the host or you can set also the BPM here uh, yeah it's pretty useful to have uh, there are some like mathematical uh, calculations that you can do to make the release follow the tempo of the track but this plugin does it uh, very simple very easy with these tree controls right I'm going to leave it in milliseconds for the moment. Here you have the gain reduction, the compression. Uh, also, you can set the limiter to prevent any 
uh, clipping, uh, any uh, overloading of the signal. And here you can measure the input, the output or the gain reduction, which always I always have engaged. You have, of course, many, many different presets uh, for different uh, elements and from different engineers as well. So let's quickly uh, jump to the sounds of this uh, compressor, right? I'm going to compress first this heavy bass. Awesome bass tone. Even though it's a bit saturated and distorted, uh, there are some jumps here uh, that make the bass as inconsistent. And we need some consistency in the low end and throughout the frequency spectrum with the bass sound. So we need to really control that bass sound because we can't, we can, sorry, lose it in the mix. So I'm going to use a fast attack. Let's use a very, very fast attack time, fast release time or medium release time. Okay, let's use a bit more compression, 8, 9. We don't need punch, really. Let's add some different transformers here. Okay, this one seems to add a bit more grit. Without transparent. Nice. Fast attack time again. We want to really um, crush the bass sound. Yeah, notice how in, in, in the parts of the signal where it jumps the most, uh, the bass it gets clamped down uh, more here. Yeah, more gain reduction, more compression. That's exactly what I want. And let's see here. Uh, yeah, probably a medium release time around here. Okay, so let's check it out in context of the mix. First, be without the plugin engaged. We lose it, right? We lose it here and there. Uh, that's why we need heavy compression. It seems that uh, we need uh, to control better those uh, those parts. Uh, let's see. Let's see with like almost to the point of limiting, right? Let me disengage this. Yeah, I needed to um, remove the punch here. So let's uh, use it here on the full mix Okay, I think we have it more under control, more consistent, and yeah, we don't need punch to preserve transients. We are actually trying to remove uh, some transient information to really uh, reduce the dynamic range or to limit the dynamic range of the bass. Okay, so let's check it out also in this um, kick drum. Also, I think I haven't used this plugin on kick drum, so let's uh, use it here. This is the kick drum. Uh, without the plugin. OK, 
Okay, it's pretty consistent kick drum already. But we have some uh, differences in volume. Let's check out the full mix here. Okay, it's a great sound. It's a great sound, but we uh, we need the the kick drum to be more uh, uh, more consistent with more uh, presence, more punch. Okay, I, I need to uh, a little bit more of punch. So I am using a slow attack time, fast release time ratio of four forty five to one. I am using the uh, analog coloration here, number two, and let's. Uh, Let's use it first. Soloed. Okay, a bit more punch. Here I am engaging the punch control, of course. D4. A bit more smack, right? I'm using the output, like uh, reducing two decibels. Okay, let's use it in the context of the full mix without it. Let's turn it on. Off. Awesome. It's it stands out uh, more and better uh, the kick drum. Alright, let's use it also on snare. Let's check it out here. Um, this snare is also uh, sounds great and all um, very cool impact and stuff but we also need to control it to uh, some because some snare hits are louder 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 sorry than others and in the context of the mix doesn't work because we're gonna lose some hits here and there and that's not good we need to control it we're i'm gonna also use a slow attack time 30 to 40 milliseconds fast release time i'm gonna engage also the punch of course the punch is great in this plugin uh, i'm gonna i'm using the analog uh, control number two here and uh, so yeah this is without Okay, and with the plugin engaged. Without. Yeah, it's it's uh, not so so noticeable, I think. But yeah, definitely there is some uh, extra punch to the snare, some snap. Without it. Yeah, more more uh, strength there in the in the uh, attack, right? Let's check it out in the context of the mix. Off. I'm sorry. On. Off. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Pretty cool compressor by Waves Audio. You can use it on other instruments, of course. Uh, guitars, vocals, of course. Uh, backing vocals, piano, acoustic guitars. Uh, on the mix bus as well, of course, and for sure. So yeah, that's the H compressor uh, by Waves Audio. Please let me know what you think of this plugin. I see here some people in the chat and you can also leave me your comment uh, in the comments uh, box down below. That is a powerful compressor, says Alcoustic. I have had it a long time and still one of my most used compressors. Alcoustic, I'm in the USA East Coast. All right, uh, Alcoustic, you are like uh, three hours apart. 
so yeah, it's still um, Friday there. Uh, Adam Metafusion says hello, very inform inform informative. <laughs> Uh, sorry for that. Uh, thank you, says Adam. Uh, thanks a lot, Adam, for uh, watching the video. I really appreciate it. Before we leave, my friends, uh, let me invite you one last time to my website where you can grab some additional freebies, such as some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players, some free tools, such as some collections of guitar impulses, some collections of drum sample packs, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out this channel or my blog, which I am updating almost every day with content like this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. Again, uh, take care and I will see you very soon. All right. Bye bye. Rock on.